Are you guys ready for a build video? One of the most badass 4x4s we've ever built? Well, here it is. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Bo with Exus 4x4 and we build badass 4x4s. And speaking of badass 4x4, here's a really badass 4x4. It's my Jeep Gladiator. Well, it used to be my Jeep Gladiator. And for a lot of you, you guys know already, I actually sold it. A lot of people speculate why we sold it. Well, there's a few different reasons why, but mostly it came down to a point where it was like, all right, we're going to keep the truck or we're going to, we're going to sell the truck. And if we keep the truck, we're going to go way out on this thing. We're going to spend a bunch more money on it. We're going to make something really one off and custom out of it. That didn't make a whole lot of sense for business purposes, but it sure would have made me happy. But with the industry and as hard as it is to get stuff right now, it's not really cool to build something unattainable for everyone else. I mean, sure, we might have been able to get some of those parts in and gone really crazy with it. But if we needed to replicate that build, it just wouldn't have been very feasible. So we decided to sell the truck two years old. 45,000 miles on it, it's time to sell. And so we did, as you can see, the wrap is gone. And today it was back in for a little bit of a, a maintenance on it. And we decided, hey, that was a good time. Let's make a video on our shop truck because we did a lot of different changes to it over the couple of years that we were driving around. We tested a lot of products on it. We created a few products for it. We took some of those products off and we put some new ones on. And so really this is the final build of what the truck became. And now's a good time, it's back in. Let's do a walk around on it because I get a lot of questions all the time when I post something about it on Instagram or something. People are asking me what's this or that. So I'm gonna walk around, give you a brief description of what's on the truck. I may not cover 100% of the things that are on it, but I'm gonna cover the real big things, things that people notice and ask a lot of questions about. So let's go ahead and get started. Best way to do this video is to start in the front and just walk our way to the back and go over pretty much everything that we run into along the way. So, starting with the very front, when it came time to choose a bumper, there was really only one bumper that I could go with, and that was the Evo Manufacturing Quarter Pounder. Super solid bumper, tough as nails. I've beaten this thing up against solid granite rock and never had a problem with it. I love it. I probably put it on every Jeep I ever own, um, and it's just, it's just held up really well. It's super popular, easy to get. The other thing that we added were the uh, Baja Designs LP6 lights. Now, these tabs, uh, they don't, the quarter pounder doesn't come with it. That's something that we made, we welded on there and we were able to mount these lights right where we got them. The worn Xeon 10S winch. I don't even think the VR 10S was available at the time that we did this, but either way, this is a pretty heavy truck and I wanted to make sure that we had a really dependable winch and that's what we got on the front of this thing. The Factor 55 Ultra Hook on the front never let us down, always there for us when we needed to winch somebody out or I think one time we had to pull cable to actually pull ourselves out. And then our Exodus 4x4 uh, aluminum Hoss Fairly that we got on the front, that we actually make and sell. So if you guys ever want one, hit me up, I'll, I'll hook you up. I guess if we're moving front to back, we can just dive right into the engine. America's Most Wanted 392 conversion. This is the first one that we ever did for, you know, it, you know outside of doing the training for it, we did on ours. It's held up for 20 plus thousand miles so far, no issues whatsoever. It's, it's just, just a testament to how dependable the uh, Hemi conversion is in the JL and JT platform. This started out as a Sport S Max tow package, not a Rubicon, but uh, when we did that conversion, we actually had to use a Rubicon transfer case. And to me, what makes a Jeep a Rubicon is the transfer case itself. I mean, lockers can always be added to any Jeep. You can, you know, the sway bar, a lot of Rubicon people delete the Rubicon, you know, electronic sway bar disconnect. So really to me, if it's got a Rubicon transfer case, it is a Rubicon. And so we added the SRT Rubicon uh, decals to the hood and the Rubicon hood itself. So that wasn't really that big of a performance change, but man, it, it, it looks good. Let's talk about these fenders. We did the Genrite aluminum fenders. I never really liked those factory fenders. A lot of people love the way the factory fenders look on the JLs and JTs with the LED lights in them and stuff. I'm not a fan. To me, this looks more Jeep. I wish that Genrite brought them out a little bit further, but they're about as narrow or as wide as they can be and still allow big tires like these 40s to have maximum articulation off-road. But yeah, those are great looking fenders. I highly recommend them. Like I said, I wish they were a little bit wider, but they look awesome. We did a black anodize on these too. We didn't do a powder coat. And I, I think that the anodize just looks 
awesome. It just really retains what the craftsmanship that was put into the product without hiding it under some powder coat. So I, I always thought that was really awesome. Next, well, let's just skip right to axles. We did the Spicer UD60 axles, and this was before we did the Hemi because we wanted to reliably run 40 inch tires on this thing. So we had one little problem with them. We broke a, a axle shaft on it one time when we first took it out off roadie broken u joint you know whatever that kind of stuff happens no big deal other than that the spicer ud60s have been super dependable on this thing we paired them up with 40 inch toyos that are on here now we started out with 40 inch nittos but hard to get we found some toyos we threw toyos on there here lately kmc hex bead locks it seems like they quit making those which i really love that wheel pattern red powder coat on the rings just really made it pop with the wrap that we had on here but it's gone now but it really looks good with the rest of the jeep now king coilovers always these are the evo manufacturing bolt-on coilovers kit for the front we also did the long arm on the front i mean just great articulation this thing will crawl like anything off-road a lot of fun hydraulic bump stops as you guys know we took this thing to baja about a year ago and we just bombed through the suspension held up great it was a lot of fun and it felt great off-road so i can't say enough about that suspension on the gladiators it really pairs well and then we threw in some evo inner fender liners black and red to kind of keep the keep the theme going and that really just the whole front end of this truck looks awesome i, I wish there was more red on the back of the truck to go along with the with, with how good the front end looks when we get to the middle we got the rock slide engineering steps as you can see we had a little problem with one of the steps we pulled it off, replaced it, and we don't have the armor on there, so it may look a little weird right now, but great steps. We sell a ton of these, and it sure makes it easier. Even for a guy like me who's six foot three, it makes it easy for me to get in and out of the truck. I recently, you know, I had back surgery this past summer, and within a few weeks, I was driving again. The only thing I could drive was this truck because of those steps. It allowed me to get in and out super easy, so I can't say enough. They held up really, really well off-road, too interior wise we really didn't do a whole lot to the inside other than we did a carbon fiber wrap on the dash pieces we did upgrade to the the 8.4 screen over the uh, 7 inch yeah other than that we really didn't change much on the interior move into the back the roll bar i get a lot of compliments on the roll bar i wouldn't say it's super super functional as far as like if the jeep actually rolled would it protect it no not really i threw this together pretty quick before we went down to baja because I wanted it to look cool and it looks cool but more so i wanted some place to mount my gps antenna some dust lights and the uh, baja designs rear tail light assembly i put some baja designs s1 ambers up there for dust lights anybody that knows anything about going fast off road and especially in dusty scenarios or just even going slow when you're in a dusty situation off road you got to have those ambers on the back so people can see you and that Put it up high enough to where everybody can see it real good it looks super clean i love it if i ever build another gladiator i'll probably tie one into the frame and actually make it more functional we built a with built kind of a tire carrier i wouldn't say it's a tire carrier but a place to put the spare tire in the back that just put the tire up high enough a 40 inch in the back and still be able to slide stuff underneath to carry stuff in the bed of the truck so super functional and then these little bitty roto packs i mean they hold like a gallon and a half of gas they're really made more for side by sides but they look cool again red kind of fits with the rest of the truck so even though maybe they don't do much it look cool back there all right well let's talk about the rear suspension real quick it's not a coilover in the rear it's what evo calls their fusion kit so we're still running a four and a half inch coil spring in the rear king two and a half inch piggyback shocks they held up pretty well when i was in baja i could tell by the end of the day though they were fading out i don't know i'd probably go with a little bit bigger shock if i was to ever do that again but for this, most of the time when you're using this truck, that is plenty of shock. We built our own rear sway bar for this thing. And then like a week later, Rock Jock came out with one, which was much easier to install. We never developed that part to sell to anybody else, but we were doing that also to accommodate some other stuff that we were designing for the back of the truck. One of the hottest things that we got a lot of people that still ask us today is about this rear skid bumper thing, which I never really came up with proper name for it but rear bumper delete i guess people say well why'd you put the, the skid plate on it uh, a lot of that was because we were developing a 35 gallon tank to go in the rear of the truck and then we were going to do a trailing arm setup but we never got the trailing arms and a lot of stuff just never happened because well covid right for those that still asking yes we will make this one day but we're probably going to wait till it's a little bit easier for us to build it 
which would be the new shop. Once we get to the new shop and we're tooled up and ready to go, we'll start building these and selling them to people wherever you are. But don't think that we're gonna build the 35 gallon tank and send it out across country. That will probably always stay an in-house build. Really that was designed because we've got this 392 in there. We we're really using it hard. With a 22 gallon tank, you can go about 200 plus miles on it and then you're that's it gotta refuel at that point so one of these days we'll we'll get to all that stuff but for right now guys don't call me asking for it because it's not going to happen yet all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for my old gladiator build it is pretty sad to see it go hey everybody but with xsg taking a break from the grind i'm taking you to work with me today especially when it comes back by the shop and i get to drive it around a little bit it is sad because I, I love this truck. This is a truck that, and I've described to many people as a truck that I didn't overbuild. It's not a truck that I took the build too far on. A lot of times that happens where we just keep building and building and adding parts and adding parts, and it gets to a point where it just becomes kind of more of a liability. This truck never felt that way. You, you know, the day I sold it, I was sad because it was such a super reliable truck. I had so much fun and a lot of good memories in the short time that I had it. Blake. Let's hit it. No key fob. Oh. <laughs> All of it. Talk. Hi. No, talk. Look at the... But on to bigger and better things. I am building something else uh, very soon. It won't be a Jeep and it won't be a Bronco either. So stay tuned for that i think it's going to be a fun build all right guys for more videos on off-roading and other cool 4x4 tech click here